Hey right, guys, so we've had a lot of people asking us about um, crate training and dogs pretty much screaming in the crate, aka puppies. And my puppy is blocking the camera right now, but behind him is going to be my example dog, which his name is Turd. He's a dinosaur. Um, and this is the steps I usually recommend for beginning uh, crate training just to help your dog learn to settle because as they learn to scream, bark, scratch, um, and say you either yell at them or you let them out or things of that sort, they just learn that behavior gets them what they want, which is obviously to be out and with you. Dogs are pack animals. Crate training is difficult because it is separating them from the pack. However, it is necessary because we have to teach our dogs how to relax and be calm. So the crate is a calm place. There's no screaming, there's no scratching, there's no um, banging, chewing, or anything of that sort. And this is how I teach it. Um, this can be for puppies and adults. Uh, generally, I will have food. So I have, I would have high value treats just because a uh, turd doesn't care what he eats. He will eat kibble. I have kibble in my pockets. And then I also have a squirt bottle. A uh, squirt bottle can be water. If you have a dog that likes to bite at the squirt bottle, you can add just a smidge of white vinegar to it just so it has a little bit more of a bite. Um, and that way your dog is not a fan of it and they can view it as a correction. All right. So say I'm putting my, I've done all the proper crate training. I have my dog um, eating in the uh, kennel, all that good stuff. They get high value items in the kennel. We've tried making it as positive as possible. They just have to learn that there's no throwing a tantrum in the crate. So how I'm gonna do that, I throw my dog in, they're in the kennel, they just got done eating, I removed the bowl, and I want them to stay in the crate for like 20, 20 more minutes just so they can digest. Uh, what I'm waiting for is the dog then starts to scream or bark or be a crazy obnoxious. I'm going to take the squirt bottle and squirt them, all right? And what I mean squirt is going to be a stream, just like this. I don't know if you can see it that far away. So is the stream. Uh, and what I'm going to do, the dog is going to start barking, uh, crying, scratching, or whatever. That's what I'm going to reward, okay? And one thing I suggest is don't use the squirt bottle like a gun. Like a lot of people, I'll get clients sometimes saying, oh, my dog listens as soon as I pick up the squirt bottle. That is not what you want. You want the dog to understand what uh, they got corrected for is why. Um, let me put that in a better sentence. Hello, English. Um, so essentially, I don't want my dog to pair that, oh, I have to listen because of the squirt bottle. We want them to learn that the behavior they're doing is wrong. All right, so again, say my dog is um, screaming, whatever, I'm going to squirt, I squirt, they stop barking, whining, or whatever, I reward. I don't have to say anything. How I reward is I just toss kibble in that kennel, okay? So you could do this from a distance. I could do this, um, let me help wild out, quiet, good. Um, so I could do this at a distance, say my dog is screaming, I squirt them, I'm shooting from my hip, okay? Remember, I'm not using this like a gun. And when they're quiet, because you disrupted the behavior, that's when you're in a reward, okay? And again, I would reward once I squirt my dog. Now, the key thing is, this is the pattern um, that humans fall in. We wait until the dog makes a mistake. If my puppy or adult dog is calm in the crate, reward it automatically. You don't have to wait for the squirt, all right? Right now, I'm reinforcing and scratching at the crate. <laughs> so uh, what I mean is, if my dog goes in there, I took their food bowl, like they're just chilling and being happy, I could walk by and reward them for being quiet. And again, I'm just kind of strolling by. Uh, don't always wait for your dog to make the mistake. Yes, they have to make the mistake to learn what behaviors um, is not acceptable. However, you do want to reinforce good behavior. You should be reinforcing uh, good behavior more so than actually correcting. So this is just a tidbit that I usually give clients um, to kind of help with the screaming, the scratching, and everything in the crate. If you have any other suggestions, uh, leave a comment and I will share that as well. Thanks.